These are the faces of Las Vegas murder victims whose cases went unsolved and into cold case files. Their names went on the headlines for years, even decades, but they were not forgotten by the cold case investigators, Metro's cold case unit who did not give up. Fox 5's Sean Dowling is live at Metro headquarters with a look at how the unit works and the search for justice that keeps them motivated. Sean? Yeah, John, Lieutenant Jason Johansson with Metro's Homicide Unit tells me that they recently helped crack a cold case from 30 years ago, all with the help of the suspect's family members by providing a correct DNA profile. But he tells me this sort of thing isn't like what you see in the movies, and it takes time, especially when there are so many cases lined up. There is a lot of work to be done, uh, and that work is being done, but unfortunately I can't work all 1,200 at the same time. That isn't stopping Lieutenant Johansson's team of three full-time detectives, six part-timers, and a sergeant. He says they're solving more cases these days because the unit didn't even exist before. Oftentimes we had reviews of cold cases where we would then assign detectives on top of their normal duties of responding daily to homicides that are occurring. We have not always had a standalone cold case section. Now that they do, they're solving cases, sometimes with the help of the Vegas Justice League, which is credited with helping close nine cases in the Valley by funding forensic DNA testing, like the 30-year-old cold case of Melanie White, who was murdered near Lake Mead Recreation Area in 1994. Police say Arthur Joseph Lavery strangled her to death. Lieutenant Johansson explains how this cold case heated up. We identified family members related to the suspect. Took a little bit of communication on, the, on our side to uh, convince them to provide us DNA so that we can confirm our DNA results. And once we did, uh, we finally got the hit that allowed us to close the case. But it's not always that easy, especially when DNA evidence is compromised or when time gets in the way. Oftentimes you're trying to locate a witness, sometimes from 40 years ago. More concerning is there's times when the DNA is degraded. Uh, it's contaminated. But what makes Metro take a second look at certain cold cases? Is there maybe a bottle that wasn't tested or processed for DNA? Is there fingernail clippings? Is there a sexual assault kit that wasn't worked? Or was all this stuff worked, but it was worked maybe back in 2003, and maybe now with the further advancements in DNA technology? Should we go back and review it? And there are several cases Metro is reviewing as we speak, with Lieutenant Johansson telling me they have a few that are in the final stages of being able to be solved. But for now, they're waiting on the final pieces of the puzzle to be put back together. For now, reporting live from Metro Police Headquarters, I'm Sean Dowling. Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.